Today I'm going to be showing you my go-to hair regimen after my protective style. So I'm just showing you my hair after I took down my braids. So first I'm going to go in with my apple cider vinegar rinse. I mix 50% water and 50% ACV. So some of the benefits for ACV is it helps balance the pH of your hair. It removes buildup from your scalp. It closes the cuticle of your hair. You can also use this post shampoo for like a natural rinse. Natural conditioner for your hair. It helps elevate dandruff and itchy scalp and that's what I use it mostly for. It helps stimulate growth and it's also a natural hair loss treatment. So I just spray it directly to my scalp and I use the balls of my fingertips to just massage it on my scalp. And I just do this right before I shampoo my hair. This is the Kara Care Dry and Itchy Scalp Anti Dandruff Moisturizing Shampoo, and I also use peppermint oil. I put about two drops of peppermint oil into my shampoo. The peppermint oils helps with the blood circulation and also helps to improve hair growth. I really love the cool and refreshing sensation that it leaves on my scalp. Now I'm going to be using the Kara Care Dry and Itchy Scalp Anti Dandruff Moisturizing Conditioner. I like to use this conditioner to detangle. I section my hair off into four parts. First I go in with my big comb to detangle and then I further detangle with my diamond brush. Then I just twist that section. And this is how much hair I lost while detangling. I love this conditioner, as you can tell. This is Curls Blueberry Bliss Deep conditioner I love this hair mask you guys my hair just soaks it up and it leaves it so soft
and the smell is bomb. It smells just like blueberries. So I just rake this all throughout my hair. Um, I try to rake it evenly throughout it all. Now I'm going to deep condition for 25 minutes. This is after rinsing out my deep conditioner. Yes, curls. Yes, shake those curls, girl. This is OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. And it works to smooth condition, strengthen, and it instantly repairs your hair to breakage. So I'm dividing my hair into four sections again and I'm just going to distribute it throughout my hair. Shea Moisture, Coconut, and Hibiscus. Curl and Style Milk. I hope I said that right. And I use this as my leave-in conditioner. And again, I am going to detangle my hair using both of these products and I'm just going to Twist it up into sections, getting it ready for my wash and go. I'm going in with my Diva Curl Super Cream. And my TGIN Curl Balm Moisturizing Styling Gel. First, I'm going to spray my hair with water and just re moisturize it before I go in with my styling cream. I have the Diva Curl Super Cream and Coconut Curl Styler. Um, it helps to define and control my curls. I use this one as my styler. And it also adds shine to it as well. The TGIN gel is very lightweight and it helps to define my curls and it gives me a soft hold. I really don't like a crunchy hold. So it just does a very soft one and it dries really soft. Um, it helps to reduce frizz, it enhances the shine, and it doesn't have any flakes. And I'm just going in and singling out my hair by using that shingling method. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Style and Smooth Edge Treatment Gel. I just used this gel um, for my edges to strengthen them from being in that protective style. I really don't use this as a gel at all to like gel down my edges.
right guys so my hair is fully dry um i would say it took about three hours because i let my hair air dry i was in the house all day so i just let it air dry so i'm gonna just show you um what i do next after it dries so first i'm going to go back with that anti-breakage serum um from OGX and I'm just going to put a little bit just a tad bit I'm going to grab my pick um, I'm going to just lift the roots just a little bit Does this side be a little lower so I want to just even both sides out I'm not going to go through all the way just a little bit just to lift a little bit because i don't want to mess up the curl pattern there's no crunch or anything to it it dries really soft all right then i'm gonna take some more of this tgi tgi in gel just a little bit on my edges. And I'm gonna grab my handy dandy toothbrush. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a bobby pin. I'm gonna do my edges a little bit. y'all wondering what's this on my um hand i had swatched um some Too Faced at sephora um their lady balls lipstick and i'm going to be doing a valentine's day look later and i think i'm gonna be using this lipstick so um stay tuned you guys these are my finished results So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, as always, if you like what you see, please click that like button right below. So guys, I have so much in store for you. So since Valentine's Day is coming up, I have two um, Valentine's Day looks that I'm gonna be doing for you guys. So please subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so you can be one of the first to know about my brand new videos that's coming out. And I will see you guys later. Don't touch my hair.